Do you have anyone you would call close? Not right now, no. Could just be a matter of time, though. <laughs> okay. So within the world of Cyberpunk 2077, there are relationship options in the game, which if you play your cards right will lead to a sexual relationship. There are four romance options in this game and today we check out what it takes to romance Panam. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Cyberpunk videos be sure to subscribe. So you may or may not know this, but you can romance certain NPCs in this game. It requires specific requirements and today I will make sure you meet those requirements to indeed be in a romantic relationship with Panam. Now this video will show no footage of what needs to be done, I will just jot it down on screen for you to take note of or save and come back to the video at a later date. I don't want to ruin any of the missions because this does uh, include many many missions and many many dialogue options. So my plan here is to just tell you what you need to do and what you need to select dialogue option wise when the time comes to it. Okay so to start. Panam will only have a romantic relationship with characters who have that male body types. So guys, what we miss with Judy, Panam makes up for. Or if you did create a female character, you can always create a new one later on down the line. So Panam is a character you meet around that ghost town main story campaign mission. But the romance with her kicks off a little later on via a side mission called Riders on the Storm. This opens up via a call from Panam to you 12 in-game hours after you complete the campaign story quest mission of Life During Wartime. The Life During Wartime is I think the 11th mission after you complete the prologue to this game. So the Riders on a Storm mission sees you working with Panam and an NPC called Mitch who asks you to observe his camp with his drone. The next step in this side mission will be for you to take a van to the Raff and Shiv camp. You must not go alone here and allow Panam to come with you. If you decide to go alone, this relationship opportunity ends with Panam. Also, if you do allow Panam to drive with you to this camp, but you move outside of the side quest after she throws you out of the car, if you don't rejoin her within 24 hours in game time, again, this is done. So allow her to drive with you and go straight to that Raff and Shiv camp. This is you doing a few things but within the end of this side mission guys you spend a night at the Ingalls farm. Where here you are required to do two simple tasks. Now during your night here within the Ingalls farm you have the opportunity to flirt with Panam. Make sure you fulfill the following two requirements. Invite her to make herself more comfortable and take her shoes off. Then follow up by saying you have a few ideas. Missing this people eliminates the chance to get into a relationship with Panam. But it doesn't end there guys, this relationship requires much more. So after you've done that Riders on the Storm mission, 12 in-game hours later you will receive a call from Panam and another side mission called with a little help from my friends. And during this mission there are a couple of things you need to make sure you do not do. I repeat, make sure you do not do. Upon talking to Sol near the start of this mission, you must not, and I repeat again, you must not reveal Panam's plan to Sol. If you do, all ties are cut and the relationship with Panam is over. Also guys, a moment will come within this mission where you are at a junction with Panam and you're in a conversation with her. She will ask you why you are helping her out. And for the love of everything, do not imply you are doing it for the money. And from here you are good to continue with the mission. So once you are done with this mission, you then need to wait another 24 hours in game time for the next and final step. Panam will call you again. You need to accept her invitation and head over and meet her at the Aldacidas camp. Here talk to Panam and then hop aboard the Basilisk and Jack Inn. Once you have done this and after familiarising yourself with the Basilisk controls and neurosynchronization with Panam, you will here have the opportunity to form a romantic relationship with Panam. As when she asks if you'd like to take things further, you've got to agree guys. Don't softly let her down, agree guys. You want to take things further. And while well from here, your relationship with Panam has started and will go on for the rest of the game. And there we have it people, a guide on how to form a relationship, a sexual relationship with Panam. And for those wondering, I hope this helps you out. 
Now guys, if you are new to my channel and want to see more cyberpunk videos, everything from guides, glitches, exploits, gameplay, you name it, I will cover it. Why not just check out my channel, click on my name, if you like what you see, just subscribe. If not, please drop a like on this video, it really helps me out. Hopefully you did enjoy it though, if you did and you're new, subscribe. If you subscribe, you may as well turn notifications on so you never miss a video. But yes, guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.